Right, on this job here, um, we've basically got an old well, a gate here, but there was no post there, so I've just put a new post in. We've got a new section of fence to put in here, which is going to match this here. Get all this fence yeah. in. That'll be that bit. And then down at the bottom of the garden, um, we have to basically make a gate for here as well. Just the main problem. bit of this job is basically fencing all the way around here. Um, I'll get closer. So we're basically going to come off this wall, so I'm probably going to have to cut these blocks out, put a timber on there, and then start the fence from there up to the corner, and then return it round to. There's another wall up there. So you can see here, I'm going to come off here again. I'm probably going to have to cut these blocks out and then come off of there all the way around. There the one fear with this job, um, you can see here, there's a, a boulder here, which is probably about the size of a small car. <laughs> and it's kind of right in the fence line. Well, we should just avoid it, but we're going to go through there, down to that area there. But I'm, I've got a feel on this ground's going to be full of bedrock. I've just got that horrible feeling, so putting the posts in could be a challenge. So we'll have the bedrock to contend with, and there's our line there, running down to the wall. And um, we're going to have tree roots to contend with as well. So, that's it. There's the first fence I was talking about down there, so we'll get that done. Right guys, just catching up again. Right, so I got that section done yesterday. And also done the gate down the bottom there. So, that's when we moved on to this. Yeah, so, so cut that wall uh, this morning, attached a temporary timber, strung the line up here, up to the corner here, uh, strung another line across there to meet into that other wall, so I'm just going to dig the post here now. And I'll try and use my auger for that, but I'm not sure how, how we'll get on. I did manage to get a few of the holes with the auger on this side. Um, there is quite a lot of bedrock once you get down a certain depth, so... You have to start jackhammering that out, which is fun. So that's it, this whole side's been, all the posts are in. And we've just got six or seven posts put in along here now. Right, so we fire up the auger. I'll try and dig this hole here, I'll film that so you can see, see how it works. A bedrock there, I can feel it, so I'll just go down as, as far as I can. Uh, we'll move to the next one, see if that's any better. Unfortunately, every one of these holes were getting down about maybe 400 mil and then hitting either tree roots or rock. So we'll just take the worst of it out with the auger and then I'll, I'll go back in by hand and then get the holes done. Um, I had to stop filming yesterday because it was so windy. Um, I'll put a clip in here just now, just to show you. Basically, we've got all the fence post railed and we've got the first side of slats on so basically put slats on one side now I'm going to put slats on the other side just to cover the gaps right so that's me fitting the slats to the back of the fence where we're offsetting them you can see how they're offset there and basically what that does is covers the covers the gap and gives you privacy. Um, 
in this case, I think the reason they are doing it is to stop any like weeds or anything grow. This area here gets quite overgrown, um, so we just want to completely block that off. So we'll get all that done all the way around, and then we'll, wherever the slats run into the posts, uh, we'll cut them neatly in. And I'll show you how we do that as well. So we'll crack on, 250 of these to go. <laughs> Right, so I've pretty much boarded the whole fence now. Um, now it's just a case of cutting into the posts. So I'll show you what I do. I normally just hold the board up like that. Measure roughly 20 millimetres along, just to correspond to this gap here. Put a mark there, we'll cut that with the track saw and then fit that. Okay, so I've just cut that with the tracks off. I've treated that cut edge with clear preserver. Now we just fit this in position. So you can see that now. So, so we'll get the other side of the post here now and I've got all these to do all the way around. So we'll just cut all them in neatly and then that'll be the board and finished. Right guys, I'm, the last bit of this job, I'm just adding the capping. So you can see the capping piece there. All that does is protect the end grain of your slats uh, from, you know, rain. So basically the water will hit there and disperse. So we're just hitting that, placing that evenly. So it is uh, functional, but always uh, it also gives the fences a neater finish, I think. See the carpentry all there. Just returned it. So I've returned it here, all the way down there. It's a bit of a nightmare trying to keep this stuff straight because any knots that are in the, the rail, you know, it's a bit wiggly. So you've just got to sort of fight it all the way up to get it as straight as you can. That's the joys of working with pressure treated timber, I'm afraid. Um, but if you just take your time and work it up, you can get it fairly straight. So that's it, so I'll fit the last bit of cap in now. So it's pretty straightforward, just lay it on and screw it in place with 70mm uh, decking screws. And that'll never budge. Right guys, that's, that's job finished. That's the gate in there. It's a section of fence I patched on Monday. And here's the main fence here. Right guys, that's it finished. Four foot hit and miss fence with the capping. Uh, quite an awkward one with all these trees and stuff. I don't know if I mentioned earlier in the video, the actual foundations of the wall. There used to be a wall in here, but actually blew down. So the foundations were still left in. Uh, but the customer actually got them all dug out with, with a digger. So that sort of helped the job. So when I first coated this, um, there was still a course of blocks all the way around. But unfortunately they were taken out, so it made it a bit easier. I remember these blocks were stepped like this. Cut all that out and just took the fence off, off the corner of the wall. That's it. It's quite tight in behind that big rock there. See how tight that is. I've got it there. 